from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Hey, Hello, this is the Hot Topic Show. It's what we do. We won't judge, but we're judging. It's going to be juicy. Now, here's Wendy. Yes. Wow. Thank you for watching. And say hello to my studio audience. They are my co-hosts. Got that dress. Oh boy. I'm doing great. Let's get started. It's time for hot topics. <laughs> Welcome. So, Dancing with the Stars was on last night. Did you watch? Yes. Well, I saw the highlights this morning. All right, everyone was talking about Amber Rose. Apparently, Amber, who's still on the uh, show, broke down during rehearsal. Take a look and then we'll talk. What's wrong? This, Babe, is this is the sem December. 20 times harder with this was on. My love, you've never made these mistakes. I don't think you understand what it's I like. I don't understand. What are, you, what are you worried about? It's like, dance is hard. And yes, then, it's called Dancing with the Stars. Sam, but it's week like six, Sunday week five, and yeah. I have heels on. <laughs> now, a lot of people on social media were having a hard time with her saying, it's Sunday and I have heels on. I guess I'm the only one who understood what she meant. I mean, Sundays are for slippers, they're for bare feet, or flats. You know, on the seventh day, you're supposed to give your feet the day off. <laughs> so I understood, she's so cute, you know, with this uh, crying. Yes, to, in my opinion, she was being overly dramatic. She wants to stay on the competition as long as possible. Because in addition to being on this show, you realize the longer you stay, the more you get paid. Oh, oh yes. Oh. oh, yes. Why? If I played the game, <laughs> well, anyway, I got off after two weeks. I just couldn't play the game. Like, I couldn't be overdramatic. And it seemed like Maxim wasn't having it at all. And this is not the season for Maxim to be flirting with his partner, so they can't get extra flirty flirty, because, you know, he's um, engaged. He's engaged. <laughs> And, um, and so Amber, you know, I, I, I don't know, people are still saying you, you don't dance so well for um, an Amber Rose, but I say you more than make up for it by crying and like you keep that crying going. <laughs> no, cause people fall for that, yeah. you know? You don't have to dance so well, you just have to tell a sap sucker story <laughs> of which I just couldn't bring it out of me. You know, once I, once I realized the formula, I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> okay, okay, no. You know. They wanted me to be two characters, one angry black woman, <laughs> of which I can't do that. You know, I sit here, I have fun with you all. I'm not the angry black woman uh, person, especially on, on command. Now, if, if <laughs> you, you know, Things happen, but not on command. I'm not doing that. And I even had to pull my Tony outside doing this with the microphone. As a matter of fact, I, you know, the microphone. So doing this with the microphone, I'm like, Tony, let me talk to you a moment. I said, do they want me to play angry black woman? He knew exactly what I meant. Tony Dovolani, that was my partner. He was like, Wendy, my wife told me I should have told you. 
oh yes, Mrs. Dovolani. <laughs> so, so I was like, okay, and I st that's when I started crying, but there were no cameras rolling because I'm not giving you that because now I realize what you want me to do. You want me to be angry or the sap sucker, which is and crying all the time, rolling on the ground, talking about how things hurt. I just couldn't do either, so I was gone. So I only got two paydays. <laughs> Oh, God, oh, oh, wait. oh, wait, hold on. The last thing she told me, she goes, don't touch your hair. Just don't, you can touch it at the bottom, just not at the top. Ooh, anyway, in other dancing news, see this uh, Olympian, Ryan Lochte, that you guys couldn't stand him a few weeks ago on account of Brazil, but now you see how a sapsucker story changes your opinion? He got engaged over the weekend, and look, and all of a sudden, doesn't he seem sweeter, Suzanne? No. Uh -uh. What? <laughs> no, doesn't change it for me. I like your outfit. Oh, thank you. I'm like sporty today. Yeah. Sporty size. <laughs> anyway. He got engaged over the weekend. It doesn't change it for me either because I, I do smell a rat. I, you know. Uh, okay, the girl is a Playboy Playmate. Not judging, just stating uh, the facts, okay? Her name is Kayla, and she's 25, and they've only been dating for 10 months. So I'm sure she was more than happy to support him through re the Rio debacle, debacle and sit there uh, set side at Dancing with the Stars and go along with his harebrained schemes, whatever it would be, to propel his swimming career. And for me, Lockby is all about propelling his swimming career and there's nothing wrong with that. He's trying to get back in our good graces, you guys. This man is still young enough to swim. I mean, he's not like an older swimmer where it's done. He's suspended for 10 months you know, from, you know, swimming the Olympics. I mean, he could swim in his backyard and practice. <laughs> the Dancing with the Star money will pay for the new pool. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, I feel like he's trying to get back in the good graces of Americana so that he can get back in that pool and win. You know, he's second to um, Michael Phelps. Phelps, we saw him with the bong, tooting it up. <laughs> Look. But, but we've forgiven Phelps. Phelps got married and had a baby. And you know marriage and babies, that's a secret formula along with old people and animals. <laughs> you know, nobody, nobody you know, turns their back to old people and animals or babies or marriage, you know? So um, this Michael Phelps, he's totally turned his entire situation around. And he's gotta keep up with the Phelpses, this Lockby. Lockby. <laughs> Lock, Lockty. You know, he lost those endorsements, but you know what? If he swims well, once he gets back in the pool, guess what? He'll have all of his sponsors back and then some. And this woman, what was she doing? She was playboying and playmating. <laughs> She's got a little time on her hands, you know, until the divorce happens. You all play too much with marriage. I already told you as a married woman, I think marriage is going to be you know, obsolete in, you know, momentarily. But in the meantime, this is part of the reason why it's gonna be obsolete. Because people take it and they BS their way through it. No, I don't believe this is a marriage, like real marriage. Like 10 months, really, she's 25, he's 32. He's been vilified in the public and now he's trying to get his career back. So I smell a rat, you know, I agree with Suzanne. Oh no, but this will keep him on Dancing with the Stars a bit more because that, that is, that, that's a show America watches and people will fall for the marriage and she'll be pregnant watch by, she might be pregnant now. <laughs> what I like about the new cups of the season they're not as pink as they used to be, which I love the pink cup. But you know what's so funny about this one that I love? When I sip, I like when my lipstick shows. I like that. I, I like that. <laughs> Maybe for
for next season, we can make the cups where the lipstick is already there. You know what I mean? Like, like just already there. I sip from the same cup every day, you know? And this, so then you guys, we sit from the same side and it's like we're relating to one another for one hour a day. <laughs> so we're sipping and doing. So, Khloe Kardashian's new man may have a baby on the way no! with his ex-girlfriend. No! Now, look, chloe has been dating this uh, NBA star, his name is Tristan Thomas, since the summer. Now, you know, I don't know anything about the sports, so I'm not the best person to ask, but when asking around, what I did find out, not so much about his ability to play, but his ability to earn which as the wife, I think that's a little more impotent. <laughs> so, this guy is right in the middle of a five year, 85, $82 million contract. That, that's, that's okay, I'm, I'm good. Tristan allegedly though broke up with his girlfriend, Jordy, allegedly to be with Chloe. Well, cause you can have $82 million over five years if you want, but if you don't have the fame and you're not on Hot Topics, then what does it matter in today's culture? <laughs> like these, no, and what, what I mean is, what I mean is people are desperate to be famous. The person who pumps your gas, the person who, who lives across the street, at least 10 people in this audience are waiting for their close up. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, Jordy, I, I, this guy Tristan, he's got all this money, but w if we don't know who, is this your first time hearing about his name? Clap if it is. <laughs> See? See? So now you know him, he's on Hot Top, easy on the eyes, right? Yeah. My thing is though, is that Jordy has just revealed that she's pregnant by eight months. And they had the baby shower the other day. And she looks really pretty and happy and ethereal. Well, um, how do you feel about a guy who might have walked away from his pregnant girlfriend to be with you at the time? Now granted, you don't just walk away for a girl. There had to have been problems in the relationship from jump, but it's just a little sloppy. Like for me as a woman, I wouldn't want any part of it. Chloe should probably, first of all, all these Kardashian girls get with the same guy, it seems like. <laughs> like You know, a black basketball player. <laughs> that, that's it. And so, and, and Chloe, you look terrific these days, although some members of the Bureau uh, di uh, differ from my opinion. But as a girl coming from the place of um, fat and larger, I think that she looks terrific. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but, I also think that she should probably um, not claim any man. You know, just spend time having fun. The thing is, is, as a woman, how do you spend time having fun if, you're, if you wanna teeter on your heels and just use his shoulder or his hand? Like, they've been spotted out together leaving restaurants and stuff. How do we know this is her boyfriend? I I'm just saying, how do we know she just didn't want to separate so that people can't walk between them? People are rude like that. You ever walk with, <laughs> You ever walk with your man in the mall and people who don't know how to walk, walk between you all? And, and clearly you're, a you know what I mean? So sometimes you do have to hold a hand just to stop traffic. Well, Chloe, uh, Chloe um, you know, and then when women walk around and we wanna date and we wanna have fun, then we look like slores because, because and I'm not saying that we are, uh, I'm not saying that we are. I might be married, but I've lived. <laughs> and I didn't know this guy, Tristan, so I guess she gets to be with another random basketball player. 
and he gets fame because I didn't know who Tristan, what's his last name again? Thompson. Yeah, Tristan Thompson. <laughs> I thought, you know, I, I didn't know many Tristans until later on in life. Like I remember in high school, I knew um, Tristan Rogers who played Scorpio on General Hospital. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know him, but I watched. And then of course there's Tristan Wilds. Yeah, he, he was on, um, yeah. He was on um, the 90210 reboot. He goes by the name of Mac Wild when he raps and he performed at my son's um, birthday party. And I know our social media guy here at um, Wendy, his name is Tristan Zimmerman. So, oh. Anyway, uh, Tristan and Chloe, uh, good luck, uh, but no good is gonna come out of this because when that girl has that baby and she loses her weight and gets back to fighting form, she's gonna come out angry and swinging yeah. at everyone. <laughs> So um, yesterday I was telling you that I had a story about 50 Cent and then we got cut off hot time. Oh, okay, I remembered. I got a good night's sleep and I remember stuff. Okay, okay. <laughs> so 50 Cent has his son Marquise who's 19 years old and they've been warring for years. How do you war with your twin? I mean, that has got to, just forget the fighting part. That has got to make a dad so proud when his son and he look so much alike. You know what I mean? I mean, cause not all kids look like their parents. You know, it, you know some are a perfect blend, some you gotta squint. <laughs> and, and you know, and you ask yourself until you're like 13, maybe I was adopted. <laughs> but these two, they look just alike. And so um, anyway, uh, it all, and also moms, like when a mom looks like her daughter like that, you know, like say um, Kim and um, Brielle at the, um, the housewives in it, uh, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, so back to 50. Um, so it all started when Marquise sided with his mom Shaniqua after, after um, 50 and Shaniqua split. Now, I don't know why the boy sided. A lot of times there are women out there who will bad mouth the dad in front of their kids and then the kids don't know anything so they, all they see is their mom on the floor crying after another messed up visit from dad. So the boy sided with dad, but now at 19 years old, Marquise is old enough to speak out on his relationship with 50. And you see you all who are bad parents cause they're this young and you never think they're gonna grow up. This is where the relationship will go left. Take note. Do you miss ever having a good relationship with your father? Of course, that's my, that's my father at the end of the day. Uh, do you want I, don't, to, I don't know 50 Cent, I know Curtis. <laughs> yeah, do you want to restore your relationship with him so it's not so tricky? Well, why not? As, as long as he's willing to tell you the truth, I'll talk to him if he get therapy. If he get therapy and he figure out a lot of unresolved issues that pertain to himself, then I'm more than willing to, to work it out. And see, <clears throat> and that's where a, re a bad relationship with your kids goes left. When they're old enough to speak for themselves, 50, clearly this boy is smart. Whatever money you have been paying to raise him, it has been spent well. He seems very well educated. He is, he is carrying himself in a way in which we will, 50, you need therapy, cause, <laughs> cause your 19 year old son says so. And I can start you off with this. How about get off social media and stop talking about your son on social media and just get off and instead, you know, you all, why don't you do some father-son therapy as well as spend time together doing what guys do, whether it's haircuts or buying sneakers or looking at cars or looking at girls, yeah. I, you know? <clears throat> This boy seems too smart to be wasted and a mess. So 50, the ball is in your court. By the way, shout out to Raquel from the TMZ Bureau. That was Raquel's show. D did you recognize Raquel? Yeah. And, and 
that's her, that's her like podcast or whatever. And then there's this new podcast that's, uh, that's about to start. It's called uh, Two Queens from Queens, as in oh. Queens, New York. And the light-skinned girl is, um, that's Lamar Odom's baby's mom. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then this girl, I forgot who that is. Oh, that's Shaniqua. Oh, oh, that's 50 Cent's baby's mom. Oh, so it's going down. Okay. I was at home yesterday gathering dinner. You know, when you work all day, that's, sometimes that's the best you can do. Just gather, just, just gather. And I got the TV on my thirsty robe, you know, the one that you wipe your hands on. <laughs> Me and the dog in the house, I'm minding my own business. I'm, and I'm watching TMZ and I did not realize I was going to be at a wedding. Well, so I changed into a better robe <laughs> and got my tissues ready. Cause while I don't enjoy weddings, the idea of weddings always makes me cry cause it's like love. And Shia LaBeouf and his longtime girlfriend were on the TMZ, her name is Mia, and they tied the knot in Vegas yesterday and we were the only people there. Yeah, it was like the weirdest thing. It was the weirdest thing ever. But it was so sweet. First of all, what bride secretly doesn't wanna wear sneakers under her dress? Uh -huh. I don't know who everybody is. All I know is that they went to the Viva Las Vegas Chapel and they paid $700. They got the Blue Hawaii special and they were married by Elvis. <laughs> yes. And Elvis sang three songs and literally, this was, Suzanne, no, literally, this was on TMZ, like they, like they were streaming it. I can't believe I missed this. And it was me and our dog. Right. And the wow. dinner, wow. and then Harvey was there, Whoa. and Charles here. Oh. Charles was there, oh. and Raquel, and everybody from the TMZ Bureau. And then I called the Hot Topics Bureau, because I said, look, are, do you have the wedding on? And they were watching the wedding too, so it was us. Yeah. And they were streaming it on TV. There was nobody there but us. It was weird, but good. I wish him well, you know. He's been, um, he met uh, her uh, back in 2012. They were uh, on the set of their movie, Nymphomaniac, volume two. Now, uh, you know Shia LaBeouf, you know, you know my thing with him. You know my thing with him. I, I think that he is interesting and a hothead and nice looking and I like that type. And so, um, but he's had a lot of sadness in his life and everything that he does is art. So I'm assuming the reason that he streamed this as opposed to inviting guests and having like a regular wedding is because it's part of art. I mean, remember when he ran with a bag over his head on the red carpet <laughs> saying, I'm not famous anymore? Like, I love this from afar, but I love this. <laughs> Do you remember when he sat in the movie theater and watched his own movies for like 48 hours? And if you wanted to come in, you could come in. Do you remember when he rode up and down the elevator at a university here in New York talking to all the kids that, you know, popped in? Do you remember when he stole the French fries from a homeless man in Times Square? <laughs> That's my guy. And I wish you luck, Shia. Doing. We've got lots more great videos for you. Just press here to watch the latest Juicy Hot Topics. Press here for celebrity interviews. Go behind the scenes with our after show or simply subscribe and get them all. I love you for watching.